So this will be pretty quick here. I'm going to just quickly show you how to add the entity framework to an already existing project. In this project here, this is I created an MVC project in Visual Studio uh, and essentially has um, nothing in it uh, as far as it's just an empty project. Uh, down here, I've already added my uh, connection string. And essentially, I just named it the entity framework connection string. My data source is equal to this. My attached data or uh, file name is in the data directory, data directory, which is pointing to the app data folder, and the name <coughs> of the database, which is database.mdf. And whether the uh, database uh, on a base level has security, which it indeed does. So. And then it just needs the provider name of whom we'll be connecting to it and using that connection stream. And in this case, the entity framework will be using it. So that's the system.data.entity. And you can, maybe I'll put this in the uh, link so people can just copy and work from it. So <clears throat> in any case, uh, just to quickly add it, all you have to do is uh, this is my project here. Here's my solution project. I'm gonna right click on my project here. I'm going to use manage new get packages. And for me, the first one here is entity framework. I'm just going to type entity really quick. <clears throat> and you can see there's for there's all sorts of entity frameworks for different various types of databases. Uh, for me, I'm going to use this one because I'm using SQL Server, uh, the pro edition. If you're using a compact edition, you can use this. If you're using MySQL, you have these other two options. There's all sorts of things to do. So you can also see it has this one here, the ASP.NET Identity Framework. Um, I myself have never exactly used this, but essentially, let's see, tags, identity and membership. So I'm assuming this has to do with the membership network. So we'll work with this later, I'm, I'm guessing. So in this case, all you have to do then is just hit install on your Entity Framework. And it's going to look at all the dependencies um, that may exist or may not exist in your project. Uh, this is just a license agreement, as always. We don't read it, and we just hit accept, because uh, that's what humans do. And it's going to install all of these tools for you um, into your project. And I'm going to go ahead, and I think that's all I'm actually going to need. I'm not going to worry about anything else right now. I'm just going to close this out. Uh, let's see. I will reload my web config. Uh, that will only happen if your web config is already open. I had mine open. Um, uh, if you have yours closed, uh, it would uh, that prompt would not have shown up. But you can see uh, now it actually, it actually added this name, Entity Framework, um, <clears throat> and several other uh, several other tags along or attributes along with it. Uh, it added a bunch of these app settings and it added some features to my handlers. So and so yeah so hopefully this will be uh easy to use for many of you and uh was helpful so thanks for watching